This is the beginning. A special woman is arriving this weekend. Very special. Yes, sir. My name is not Sir. There were a lot of things, actually. Um, you know, I thought that it, it was it, it, just a very rich character, you know, uh, in a very, um, you know, I mean, like B was saying, in an, an extraordinary novel. And um, and I, I've known B for a long time, and we, in fact, one of the short films he was talking about, I was, I was in <laughs> several years ago. And, um, you know, we, we'd been talking about making a film out in Nigeria and, um, and trying to see what that would be, and it kind of, it was a really great confluence of events that... B started adapting Half of Yellow Sun, and it's a story that I just felt was not only beautiful on the page, but in his adaptation and uh, uh, as well, and just had a very, very deep relevance and resonance with me um, in terms of not only the story itself, my own family history, and I uh, was just very excited to to come on board and tell the story of, of uh, you know tell the story from this perspective of Adenabu, who's this really conflicted character and um, you know this very multi layered person. Um, who is uh, very prone to making mistakes and trying to figure his way out of them. Uh, and uh, I felt just a very exciting person to go on this kind of journey with, somebody who, uh, who um, even in the, in the nature of the, is learning so much about himself and the people around him, even in the nature of this extraordinary conflict that's going on. It was great, actually. You know, it was... Um, you know, it was everything, it was a lot of the things that I, I think we talked about, you know, mm -hmm. just to try and make a really passionate film that had a bit of a larger scale uh, than, than a lot of the films that are made in Nigeria. Uh, and, uh, uh, but really to try and, you know, get in touch with the, the absolute beauty of the country that, you know, that we've, we've always known, mm -hmm. but, you know, haven't been able to represent on film as much as, as, as we wanted to. So in this experience, really just sort of getting that out there and, uh, and being out there with all of the challenges that, that being out there was, uh, you know, especially in the very remote areas that we were, we were filming in. But, you know, for me, it was always a story that needed to reflect as well that the, the, villages, the village communities in, uh, in Nigeria took so much of the brunt of the, uh, of the Civil War and, uh, and so much of the, uh, the, the, the sort of crushing of Biafra happened in those, in those communities and the Nigerian forces absolutely directly attempted to to, to, to do that and take the fight, you know, village to village. And so being in these very, you know, very rural places, you know, was a real way of, I thought, just telling that story, it felt completely correct to be away from the slightly more industrialized part of Nigeria, which would have made for a slightly more comfortable shooting experience, yeah. <laughs> no doubt. But, um, but I think it, it really captures something very genuine in the film, very beautiful. I basically uh, got interested in film about 20 years ago when I wrote a screenplay that was um, <clears throat> directed by Danny Boyle. Um, I, well, I didn't actually, I, I wasn't that much interested in film at the time or TV, but um, as a result of that collaboration with Danny, I got commissioned to write screenplays which were directed by other people, and I very quickly realized that nobody, not everybody was a Danny Boyle, that I'd been exceptionally lucky to work with him. And I found also that with many TV and film directors, um, <clears throat> they're quite intimidated by actors. And because my background is theater, I'm actually quite experienced with working with actors. You know, I, I learned to direct actors from working in theater. And, um, and after working with like the third or fourth director who, while I was working with them, I just, and watching them work with actors, I kept thinking, I can do this, I can do this much better. Um, I just then made um, the decision to to actually um, to start. Well, first of all, I started directing a lot more theatre, um, and then I, you know I did some shorts, and and um, you know it was a long, long journey. But I'm actually glad it took that as long as it took because when we then made Half of Yellow Sun, I was I was ready. And why Half of the Yellow Sun? Because it's a great book. Um, and also because um, it had um, all these characters, African characters, that I'd never seen on the big screen before. Um, usually when I go to the cinema to watch a movie that's ostensibly about Africa, it turns out that it's about a white person who's gone to Africa to save Africans. You know, it's always a white character. Um, around whom everything happens and then the African characters 
um, <clears throat> are just bit characters. I mean, there's a place for that kind of movie, but I felt that it was important also that we'd be able to actually go to the cinema and see movies about ourselves that really are about us. And, and, and the characters in, in Chimamanda's book provided that opportunity. I'm going to do a film with John Hillcoat called uh, Triple Nine. Um, I'm looking at three different uh, film projects and talking to various di uh, producers right now.